Well, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about something that we may not think about, which is sleeping and how that can affect your vision. All right, we're going to dig in. But before we do, if you want to connect with us, call us if you're local, 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website, visionforlifeworks.com. You can do several things there. You can take a quiz. You can read success stories. We've got pages about all kinds of things. And you can certainly read information about what we do in our clinic, but you can also schedule a consultation. So what's one thing that you may not realize could be a problem associated with your vision? Of course, sleeping. Who would think sleeping would cause you difficulties with your vision? But if you sleep with the light on, especially kiddos, it's common to put a night light in their bedroom. And I'm going to talk to you today about why that's not necessarily a great idea. So let's kind of jump right into this. Um, having the light on in your bedroom actually can cause several things that will upset your visual system. So for one, it can make the eyes falsely or inappropriately focused towards that light from across the room. One might think, hey, what's wrong with that? That's actually a good thing, right? Making my eyes focus. Isn't that good? Well, actually not really. It can cause some problems. So it can cause children to develop myopia and adults too can further their myopia if there's a light on somewhere in their bedroom that they're paying attention to all the time or even part of the time or even a fraction of the time because again it creates like a false focusing type of situation where our eyes typically want to focus better in light versus in the dark. And so if this light is nebulous in the room somewhere around, then the eyes will try to focus in on that. And it's harder on the visual system to focus farther away and um, just have like a small light that it's looking towards. So not only is it difficult with your focusing system and can cause you to get nearsighted or develop myopia, but there's some really interesting research, which I talked about a probably maybe two years ago, and that is that there's a link between developing cancer and having a light on in your bedroom. Now, I don't have that particular article that I looked at, gosh knows how many years ago. I'm certain that you can probably Google it and find it. You can probably find some stuff on YouTube. Go to work and do some investigation. But the main idea is, is that you might want to think twice about having lights in your bedroom whether that would be like a night light or it would be a some sort of device that's lit up or um, in my bedroom, I have had for many years an air filter that has a blue light that's associated with it being on and running to filter the air. And for a lot of years, I didn't think a whole lot about it. Even having a light outside of your bedroom can be a problem and can be associated with messing up the circadian rhythm of the body which could throw off metabolic processes and which could eventually lead to a decline in certain cells in the body and eventually lead into cancer. Ooh, that's a lot. And we don't really wanna think about those things. We like to try to stay positive here about how you can fix things and correct things and how we do help our patients all the time. But this is certainly one of those like, hey, it's a point of advice. Maybe those uh, light blocking curtains that you can put up in your bedroom would be a great idea. That's what we did years ago, which is to block out all levels of light. People who sleep weird hours of the day, so let's say that they are people, not really just like a nap, but people who are sleeping like at the wrong times during the day. So shift workers, this can be problematic for them. So uh, on the contrary though, I will mention something that can be good for you, which is to take a little sun nap outside in the appropriate time so you're not getting burned. Um, so maybe like early morning before about 10, 1030 and then later in the afternoon. Getting sunlight for one is a significant healer for the body on every aspect, including vision, but definitely it is associated with decreased amounts of cancer internally in the body. We're not necessarily talking about skin cancers here because we're, we're telling you maybe avoid those times of day when it's most difficult because the sun and the UV is really high exposed. And that would be like 11 o'clock to three o'clock every day, but early morning sun, 
later in the afternoon and evening sun, definitely a good thing. And there's a lot of cool research out there suggesting that sunlight, not only is it good for your eyes and can heal some things with your eyes, but it can also prevent internal cancers. I think we can all use that because those things are definitely on the rise. So, ooh, a video that went from don't have a light on in the room because it can cause you to have problems with myopia to, wow, light is actually good for you in the right circumstances and in the right time. So if you have questions, definitely feel free to interact and drop questions and, and comments down below. There's a great book. I might share that with you in one of the comments about how sunlight is healing for the body. Um, but as I always end my videos, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe so you don't miss our other videos. And if you feel like, hey, this is kind of thought provoking and beneficial and my friend Sally might like to hear about this, we'll pass this video on to Sally so she can learn a little something different and have some thoughts provoked in her brain. <laughs> All right, with that, thank you so much for tuning in.